Today, I will give you a full tutorial on how to work with webhooks within N8N. But before we can start, it is important to understand what a webhook is and when you should use it. So webhooks are basically automatic messages that get sent from one app to another. An example is when a payment gets made in an app and then it will send a webhook to another app to let it know that the payment was successful. A webhook allows apps to communicate with each other in real time without constantly checking for updates. So it is basically a message that gets sent from app 1 to app 2 or from app 2 to app 1. Webhooks should be used when you can directly connect the app as a trigger in your N8N. Here in N8N we can look at the actions and then we can see all of these actions that we can use as a trigger for our workflow but not every app is connected to N8N or integrated with N8N. Then we can use a webhook to still use this app and trigger our workflow with it. In N8N we have two types of webhooks. The first one is the webhook trigger and you can see it here and the second one is the respond to webhook and this one is here. So the webhook is used to receive data and when the webhook is being created it will create a custom URL and we can see it here and then if we want to connect the app to it or send or receive data to it then we can copy this link and put it in the external app that we want to use as our webhook trigger and then when we have entered this url in our external app it will then send us data to the url and we can catch this this is what is called receiving the data in n8n and then we can use this data to trigger our next step in our workflow the respond to webhook is used to send data back and this allows you to send data back to the same webhook that triggered your workflow and here we have the respond to webhook webhook and this will respond to the trigger webhook here. So a webhook is basically a custom URL that we can use to communicate with external services and to send and receive data from it. Okay, so now we can look inside our trigger webhook and here we first see that we have a test URL and a production URL. The test URL is only used when you are still working on your workflow and it is not finished yet, so you have not published or activated it. And a production URL is only used when you've finished your workflow and you've activated it. In the test and production URL, there's a slight change. In the URL here, we have webhook-test. And in our production URL, it is only webhook, so there is no dash test behind it. Next to the slide change, nothing automatically changes in this URL anymore, but you can still manually change the path if you would like in the URL. Here behind it, we can see the path and we can change it if we like. So to change this path, we can look down here and you can change it to whatever you want. So I could, for example, say webhook tutorial. So here we see webhook tutorial and I've changed it now. And then in our URL, we can also see that our path has changed. After the URL and the path, you have the HTTP method and N8N supports multiple HTTP methods, such as the delete lead, the get, head, patch, post and put and the get and the post are the ones that you're going to use the most. Get is basically retrieving data from the webhook and post is sending data to the webhook. The other methods we won't discuss in this video because it's more advanced but the get and the post will bring you very far because these are the ones that you will use most. And the HTTP method is very important that you set it right because if I look in my HTTP method it is on get. So if I will now send data to this webhook then it won't work because it is put on get so it can only retrieve data from the webhook. And this is useful because it helps us to restrict the data that can trigger this workflow, which obviously provide a better control over our automation. Next, we have the authentication, and NNN has put the authentication on none as default, but we can still choose to enable our authentication, and we can pick from these three authentications. And this basically helps us to make our URL more safe because everyone has access to this URL, and if you have the URL, you can trigger this workflow, and that's not what we want. So, this authentication basically works as a password. If you, for example, do the header auth, then someone has to fill in their name and a password, and then after, if they filled in it and it was correct, then they can trigger this workflow. So if we do not enter this authentication, everyone with the URL can just run this workflow and trigger it and that could lead to unwanted requests. Next we have the response and this will give us three options. So here we can see immediately when last node finishes and using respond to webhook node. Respond immediately means that N8N will send a response the second that they receive the webhook request. And this is useful when you, for example, want to let the external app immediately know that the request was successful and that it worked. The next method is when last node finishes. So when this is enabled, N8N will wait until the whole workflow is finished. So if you, for example, have a whole workflow here, this will first all run. And then after the last node is finished, N8N will send a response. And then the last response method is using respond to webhook node. And this option means that you will use the respond to webhook to send the response. And this is useful because it will allow you to be more flexible in sending your responses and what kind of response you want to send. Okay, so now we have filled in all the input fields from our webhook trigger and now we can also take a look in our respond to webhook node. So in our respond to webhook node, we have first incoming item, but you can also change it to all incoming items, binary file if you have, for example, have an image, a JSON, a no data or a text, and this will set the method that you want to respond with. 
If you have a question about webhooks, then leave a comment down below. And also, if you like this video, then do not forget to like and subscribe.